Now that you understand what the L property refers to, and we also saw that we can use our initialize function, let's go ahead and move this into a little bit more of a deeper example. So this time, I'm going to want to make my own functions that are going to help me target these elements. But before I do that, I want to introduce to you one more special property of Backbone, just like the L property and the initialize property. Uh, there's an event property, and this takes an object. And what this does here is you can list um, almost JSON style uh, your um, events that you want to do, and you can target IDs or classes within your element. Remember, this is this whole thing here is your view. This is what we're defining in our object, our object-oriented programming here. This time it's not a model, but it's a view. But And everything that is associated with our view goes in here. So the view is controlling all of this. And uh, we're also controlling our view inside this view. So backbone is model view um, style, and the controller is built into the view. It's also built into the router, which I'll get into later, but that's the control side. So view handles logic for controlling the view, and then it also handles the view itself. So um, to illustrate this, to give you a better example, if I were to write click, this is um, a click handler. This is very much like you can do click, mouse over. In fact, I could write that here, mouse over. Um, or I could do, you know, I could do um, double click. These are all things that Backbone recognizes. So I just do click to keep it simple, and I were to say click, click me, again like jQuery or CSS style, and then here I added a function name, then events is smart enough to know, okay, I'm going to map a click to the click me button, and I'm going to call a function, and it'll bind all of that together so I can keep calling it. So, what kind of function should I write? How about incrementing that value down there? So I'll make a function called increment. And just like we did with our model, I'll go ahead and define the function here. And I'm going to do a couple things too here. First, I'm going to show you some jQuery stuff. So I'm going to take out this. I don't need this anymore. And instead, what I'm going to do on my initial as function here is I'm going to cache some elements. So I'm going to say I want, well this thing needs an ID here, first of all. So we'll give it an ID of number. We'll say this, and we'll use this dollar sign here to indicate it's a jQuery object. Uh, and we'll just use jQuery to target number dot fell. Let's just make sure we can console log and see our function works so far. So let's see if this works. And here I'm going to have to do this on a brand new HTML page. So the way to do that, if you've been following along the whole time, I would just go to download from my JS bin. And because I'm using Safari, my downloads go up here. So I'm just going to open the latest one. And then I'm going to also inspect our element. Remember this? And I'm going to click. I got zero. Cool. I click again, it's still zero. And that makes sense because every time I'm clicking the button, I'm just getting the value. We want to do something meaningful. We want to increment that value. That's what the function is called anyway, right? So let's go ahead and this time we'll just say we'll get the number value first. And then down here, oh, we can't type. Sometimes I have a little bit of a problem with JSBAN when I've been coding for a while. So I'm going to just reload this page and hopefully it doesn't break. Okay, cool. Uh, that was a bit buggy there. 
Okay, so I'm going to just go ahead and put in this number. And this time I'm just going to do this number plus plus. And I'm going to console log the number so we can see that it's incrementing. I'll also make sure I put in that semicolon just so we have it. Okay, so let's go back to our page. Actually, we're going to need a fresh new page because uh, that's why I have so many pages here. So I'm going to clear this all out. And uh, we're going to download this page again. Now here I've got an index.html file which I built here just recently. And um, you can do that using you know, Sublime. I can actually open this too. Sublime if you have this editor. And this is just a, a side point. But if you don't like using JSBin because you know, if it crashes, uh, you can also still like copy all this and put it into a text file and then open it from your browser, I mean from your desktop, just like here. But um, I just want to point that out. So we'll go ahead and open our page anyway. Now let's inspect our element. We'll click, click it again, and you can see that the number is incre incrementing. Boom, boom, boom. Cool. Okay, so let's wire it up finally. Let's put that number here where it belongs. That's the functionality that I want to build into this page. So how do I do that? Well, I've already got the number and I've incremented it. Now I've console logged it here to prove that the number keeps getting incremented. So I've cached it here. I got the value one time. This is what I'm doing and I'm storing it inside this view. I don't need to keep getting the value anymore. I already have it. So now this treats it as a variable, just a property within my view. And I can keep showing the number by incrementing it and then console logging it. And then I want to target my ID number. So I'm going to say this, and I actually should have given it better names, but we'll just say number ID. That way we know the difference between what these things are. And we'll just say, Actually, I'm sorry, I already have it. Or I don't, I'm sorry. <laughs> so we'll say uh, we have a number here. We're just going to call it with jQuery. And um, we're going to set the number ID. Okay, so this dot number id dot html and we're going to put in this number and actually it's not html it's actually value so it's val so these are java's um, these are jquery methods val and to kind of go over what i'm doing here again because it was kind of a um confusing for a moment i got the value that belongs to this input and I stored it in this number which is a variable I created for this view. Um, it's a cached number so that means I get the number once and I store it in number. Then I manipulate it down here. Over here what I'm doing is I'm grabbing the HTML element now number and storing it in number ID. So I'm going to increment my number. I'm going to console log it to myself to see it and then I'm going to take the jQuery element number, HTML element, and I'm going to change the value from zero to this number. So we can show what the result of that would be by downloading this page. And I'll open it. I click it. Boom, 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 boom. So nice, right? Get to see that number updated in real time. And that's really what a view is, man. Like when you uh, are able to manipulate something, an element on the page, manipulate elements on the page, you know, and you have this really nice um, concise code. You're not having to put multiple jQuery statements, this on click, increment the number again, somewhere down here, and then kind of go, well, what did that code do? It's all just here. And all I have to do is just increment, I mean, call a new view once, and I'm done. All the functionality is taken care of for me.